maybe not a good weekend to get outside, but hopefully next weekend they'll have some better weather for that. Yes, unfortunately we're headed into a very soggy seven day Ooh. stretch of weather and that's actually going to linger into next week as well. So we're going to take a look at our lakes currently just all ahead of this showers and thunderstorm activity that we're going to see over the next several days. So right now most of the lakes are either at normal or just slightly above normal, which is good news for this time of the year. But we are going to add to those numbers as we head into the next several days. So our flooding concerns are really going to start ramping up. So tomorrow we are going to see widespread showers and thunderstorms. And then on into the first part of the work week, we are going to see the heaviest amounts of rainfall, especially on Tuesday. So the stormy periods really Monday through Wednesday. And then we are going to continue to add on to those values as we head throughout the remainder of the week and on into next next weekend as well. So anywhere from five upwards of eight inches possible onto already saturated soils and onto those lake levels. So right now, as we take a look on radar, we can see that storm system that pushed through the area earlier this morning. It originated in portions of Kansas and it was pretty rowdy at times. So it was a pretty impressive lightning show, some rumbles of thunder. It might have woken you up this morning, but then hopefully you were able to go back to sleep because it pushed off to the east and nothing severe was associated with it. And finally, the last little batch of of this storm system is in far eastern Oklahoma. So anywhere from Miami all the way down to Grove, Jay, Little Kansas, as well as Chewy, stretching down to Stillwell. And that will continue to push off to the east through mid morning. So downtown, we are seeing mostly cloudy skies, but temperatures are currently coming in at 60 degrees. So it's not too bad. Winds have picked up just a little bit out of the east southeast at nine miles an hour and will continue to do so later on this afternoon. It will be a breezy afternoon as winds could gust near 25 miles an hour. So across the area, similar temperatures. It is a little bit cooler where that rain rolled through mid to upper 50s and low 60s in most locations. Afternoon highs today will top out in the upper 70s to low 80s. So it just depends on your location and we'll see some more showers and thunderstorms enter into the forecast later on tonight. So that will really increase our chances as we head into Sunday. A soggy Sunday is in store for us, so make sure to have that umbrella close by for tomorrow as well because you will need it. So our storm zone for tonight's mainly situated up to the north of Tulsa. This is all thanks to this boundary and that's going to really fire up some showers and thunderstorms to the north of us. And then on Sunday it is going to be off to the west of Tulsa, but we are going to be monitoring this and watching it very closely. So on future view, we are seeing mostly cloudy skies by lunchtime. Afternoon highs in the upper 70s to low 80s. This boundary where this sets up will allow for some showers and thunderstorms to start to develop. So now some of these could be a little bit strong, so we are going to watch that, but then that will become more widespread as we head into the early morning hours. So by 4 a.m. we're seeing showers and thunderstorms knocking on our doorstep. 6 a.m. and around that 7 a.m. time frame, we are seeing widespread showers and storms. Temperatures in the 60s all day long. It's going to be a soggy day and we are going to see afternoon highs topping out in the low 70s. So get ready. It's going to be a soaker as we head into the next week. So look at this daily chances of showers and thunderstorms each day for this foreseeable future, unfortunately, but temperatures are going to be very spring like in the 70s and 80s with overnight lows in the 60s.